here I have the base models for the helmet for the upcoming book, Electronics for Props and Cosplay. The base models were exported as single mo like single meshes, mesh bodies, and I need them to be separated so that I have a uh, the ability ability to have you choose what parts you want on your helmet. Um, so the process to do that um, is to go to the mesh tab, choose the mesh body, and go to modify, separate. And we want to have mesh shells. In this case, it's mesh shells. I don't know. There's there's other ways or other models that may not do this the right way, but in this case, it's mesh shells. And I have kept the main body so that I can refer back to it. Uh, now, what I need to do is I'm going to create components out of each set of mesh bodies. So I'm just identifying parts, finding out which one they are. Uh, this one, the mouth part, I'm calling it a rebreather. And once I create a component out of it, I can start to drag in the other parts. So, you know, all the other parts to the rebreather that I can identify, I can drag right into the rebreather component and they become part of that component. And that way I can keep organized and sure of where I want to go. So this is that process. I'm just speeding it up because this is going to take a little while. And now when I turn off the rebreather, it's gone entirely. So that mouth part is gone. And I repeat this process for the rest of my components. I try to pick the base part that components will stick to and then use that as my main component. So I name it before I make it into a component because the component gets named as that, that mesh body, using that mesh body's name. So just really quickly, that's the, the process of doing that. <laughs> and just rinse and repeat until I get all of my parts. Now, in the case of the pipes, I'm not sure whether or not we'll use them necessarily, or that they may end up being used, but you can always use different types of um, elements to, to create those pipes. They don't have to be 3D printed because they would be quite uh, fragile, but you could use like a thicker wire or conduit or something. So then I'm moving into the ears and again, just trying to get this all done so that I don't need to worry too much about it. But now my main helmet, I'm going to have to make solid bodies out of all these things. Uh, but that's the process for separating these into individual components to allow me to move forward. And that's, uh, yeah, and that's that. Thanks for watching.